Good morning, Greater Latrobe. From the WCAT TV studio, I'm Paige Lesko alongside Gianna Ferry, and these are your morning announcements. There will be a mandatory link leader meeting on Thursday, December 14th at 6.55 a.m. or 2.30 p.m. in the faculty dining room. Please be prompt. Do you have plans of being a teacher? St. Vincent College is offering foundations of education to high school seniors and juniors. This course will be held on campus Thursday evenings from 4 to 6.30 p.m. The course runs, runs January 15th through May 10th. The cost is $225 for three credits, and the textbook cost is $100. The deadline to register is December 14th. Stop in the 1112 office if you are interested. Attention seniors, to meet early first week college application deadline, transcript request forms and online applications such as the Common App should be submitted by December 15th due to the holiday break. There will be a reading competition team meeting at 2.30 in the library on Wednesday, December 13th. All members should make it a priority to, to attend as we will be making important decisions during this meeting. However, if you cannot attend, be sure to check the meeting summary in the reading competition Google Classroom on the following day. Also, if you have not turned in your permission form and or have not enrolled in the reading competition Google Classroom, do that as soon as possible. See Ms. Rebel with any questions. We will be back after this commercial break. The Winter Sadies Dance will take place on Thursday, December 21st from 7 to 10 p.m. Dance tickets are $15 for singles and $30 for couples. They will be on sale starting Tuesday, December 12th. Ticket cost includes a photo taken by Timeless Expressions. Greater Trove freshmen are permitted to attend the dance, but are not permitted to bring a guest from another school. Sophomores, juniors, and seniors who are bringing a guest that does not attend Greater Trove Senior High School must complete a guest registration form. You will turn the form in when purchasing your ticket. Guests must have at least a sophomore status and must be under the age of 21. Guest forms are available in the student waiting area of the 9, 10, and 1112 offices. Now here is Devin Armel with the weather report. Thanks, Gianna, and good morning, Wildcats. Your three-day forecast, forecast starts off with some cloudy skies along with a chance of snow throughout the day with a high of 35 and a low of 12. Tomorrow brings some cloudy skies along with a high of 25 and a low of 20. And Thursday brings some scattered snow showers along with a high of 30 and a low of 15. That's all for the weather. Back to you guys. Thanks, Devin. Attention all members of the library's book club or current book selection is the last lecture by Randy, by, by Randy Pausch. Please stop by the library as soon as possible to pick up the book if you are interested. We will be back after this commercial break. The Greater Latrobe Health and Physical Education Department is promoting fitness as a lifestyle by holding our third annual Jingle Bell Fun Run on Sunday, December 17th at 10 a.m. at the Greater Latrobe Senior High School. The two-mile course will be a combination of track and road to give you a varied running experience. The cost is $10 per person. You can walk, jog, or run this race. The course is open to all ages and is stroller friendly. Registration deadline is December 15th, and a race day registration will be accepted for an entry fee of $15. Proceeds will support the PTO organizations at Bagley, Mountain View, LES, and the PE department. Come and join the fun at the Jingle Bell Fun Run. Now here is Alex Bizignani with the sports report. Thanks Paige. Welcome to the Wildcats sports report. The boys swim team is home tonight where they await Greensburg Salem for a 6 o'clock match. The boys basketball team takes a road trip out the gateway where they will rise up against the Gators at 730. Over the weekend the Latrobe wrestling team competed against 26 other teams 
and won their fourth straight team title at the Hickory Wrestling Tournament. The Cats crowded three individual champions, while five others earned medals. Marino Angelicchio, Brady Sherbeck, and Gabe Willowshell earned gold medals in the final. This was Marino's first Hickory Championship, while Gabe is now a two-time Hickory champion. As a senior, Brady competed in his last Hickory tournament and won his fourth title. Enzo Angelicchio placed fourth and pinned five of his opponents. Max Sanderback, Josh DeLon, Logan Zitterbart finished sixth place, and Ricky Armstrong finished in eighth. A notable performance came from Chase Sapetti. Chase competed in his first wrestling competition and went undefeated by pinning both of his opponents. The wrestlers will assume action at home on Wednesday against Penn Trafford. There will be a competition during the match to see which group of Latrobe students can cheer the loudest for our wrestling. Get your friends together, make some signs, wear some crazy garb, and let's get that gym rock on Wednesday night. See you on Wednesday at 7 p.m. That's all for Wildcat Sports Report. Back to you guys. Thanks, Alex. There is a temporary change to the after-school library hours for this week. The library will be open after school on Wednesday, December 13th only. The library will not be open after school on Tuesdays or Thursday this week. Remember to sign up online by 225 if you wish to stay after. Students are asked to check the 1112 bulletin board in the student waiting area for the academic summer camp opportunity. Just a reminder that the student store still has loyalty cards. When you buy 10 ice or buy drinks, you'll get one free. Stop by the store to pick up a free card. The Chick-fil-A Leader Academy will be collecting donations for Action for Animals until Friday, December 15th. Please donate items listed on the flyer you got in Homeroom. There will be collection boxes in the Commons area and, and in the cafeteria, as well as Mrs. Kubis' room, H108. The Cat's Cafe now has peppermint and gingerbread syrup. This will be a seasonal offering. They will also be selling large chocolate chip cookies from Schoolhouse Bakery this week. Any juniors and seniors seeking weekend employment should visit Mr. Princeton in the 1112 office to discuss a possible opportunity at the Carlo Technical Plastic. Reporting for WCAT-TV, this has been Gianna Ferry and Paige Susco. Thanks for watching and have a great day.